So since we're in Lent, that continuing discussion of confession, specifically within the Greek culture. As I mentioned before, I did not grow up with confession. So I, I thought it was a Catholic thing. I didn't participate in it. And then when I went to seminary, I learned what confession is and the importance. We've already talked about that. But when I ask people about, do you go to confession? Their answer is pretty simple. Father, I follow the Ten Commandments. I don't kill anybody. I honor my mother and father. I have something about God. So I'm good. I don't need confession because I haven't done any of those things. The church gives us today to explain why that is incorrect. Okay? And the saint of the day is St. John Climacus. St. John Climacus is famous for, write, for writing his Ladder of Ascent. Now, he meant it for the monks because he wrote it for a monastic community, but it speaks to us because the problem with the Ten Commandments is that it is incomplete. It does not express all of what is required of us as Christians. It doesn't even describe what is required if you are Jewish. That is not the fulfillment of being a Jew. And it is certainly not the fulfillment of being a Christian. So then, how are we as Christians supposed to interpret whether or not we have sinned? And here comes St. John Climacus, and he explains it to us through the ladder of ascent. And in it, he starts off with the vices, and then he switches to the virtues. So as you are climbing the ladder, he starts off with recognizing now what are our vices, and then continues on to the virtues. So I'm not going to worry so much about the virtues today, but I am going to talk very briefly about those vices that he talks about that go well beyond the Ten Commandments, so that we all may recognize that the Ten Commandments is maybe a starting point, but for the church and for us as Christians is certainly not an end point. So the first thing he talks about is the ability to renounce those things that are transient, meaning that we renounce those things like money, material objects, passions, whether they be alcohol passions or drug passions or sex passions, that we are able to renounce them and take the power that they have away from them. So that what is important is the first commandment, love the Lord your God. And you can't do that until you renounce those worldly things. The second one is then to detach yourself from those certain things so that they don't hold a power over you. To be obedient. This is very un-American because we are obedient to no one. That's our fundamental individualistic right. We don't have to obey anybody, and especially the church. We don't have to obey her. So if I don't have to obey my civil authorities, and I don't have to obey even my parents, I don't even have to obey, obey the church. And so he lists this as, this as the second vice. He talks now about remembering death, meaning that we will all die. And that is a fact, along with taxes. That's a fact. And to remember that you have a limited time on earth. So what are you going to do with that time? He talks about also sorrow together with joy, understanding that this world brings sorrow, but equally so we cannot live in that sorrow, that we live in joy. That we free ourselves from anger and we learn how to be humble before God and before one another. Because again, it was pride that brought Adam and Eve down, and it is pride that brings us down. Here's the one for us personally. Defamation and slander, i.e. gossip. So St. John talks about the poison of the tongue that the tongue is the most dangerous instrument that we have because we can use it for good, 
but most of the time we use it for evil. On being idle and lazy. I don't even have to talk about that one, right? On lying. Being overly despondent. On boisterous and gluttonous living. Ergo the fast, all right? And on love for money and greed. So you can see that the church gives us much, much more than just the Ten Commandments. So now, when I or any priest or anybody asks you and says, do you go to confession? And now you say, no, because I follow the Ten Commandments and I have broken none of those, ergo I am free of sin. And in the eyes of the church, who has given us St. John Climacus to help us explain why as Christians we no longer eat child food, but now we eat adult food, which is this. We no longer have this excuse for why we think of ourselves as sinless.